Hey everybody, here's our next module. We're down to the last one and it's talking about solving different types of percent problems. Um, the first type of problem we're going to do is sales tax and then total cost. So I'm going to go to the board and I'm going to work this problem out for you. I'm talking about the microwave and what would be your total cost if your sales tax rate is 6%. So first thing you want to know is what is sales tax? So if you look at this sales tax, um, if you look at this slide, is your money charged for purchasing items. Everybody knows that we have sales tax here and um, so you would multiply your tax rate but the thing is is when you multiply anything with a percent you must turn the percent to a decimal first in order to make it an actual number so that you can use it in a problem. So anytime you have a percent and you're going to do these types of problems you must first turn the percent to a decimal then use it to work out the problem. Okay, so I'm fixing to go to the board and we're going to do this together. All right, so it says that our microwave oven is $188. The sales tax is 6% and we want to know the total cost. So the first thing we have to do is find out how much tax we're going to pay on this $188. So in order to do this, you must multiply. So we have to turn 6% into a decimal. And remember we did that on one of the previous modules. You drop the percent sign and you move the decimal two places to the left. So it'd be 0 0.06. So you take $188 times decimal 0 0.6, because that's six hundredths, because it's six out of 100. And then you do the multiplication. So six times eight would be 48. Six times eight is 48 and 48 plus 4 is 52. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 5 makes 11. And then remember when you're going to count how many decimal places you look at both of your numbers. The first number doesn't have any decimal places. The second number has two decimal places so that's how many I have to move it over. So I go from the right to the left. One, two spaces. So my sales tax on $188 would be $11.28. All right, now, does that answer my question? No, it doesn't because I want to know the total cost. And you know that the total cost is your original price, which is $188, plus your sales tax. So you want to take the original price, $188, and remember that's decimal point zero zero because this is money. And we're going to add, sorry, $11.28 because that's the sales tax. So you have your original price plus the sales tax. And when you do that, you get your total cost. So when I add this, that would be 8 and 2. Remember, when you add decimals, you line them up. That would be a 9 and a 9 and a 1. So your total cost for the microwave will be $199.28, okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to do is talk about another type of percent problem. Um, there are other sales tax with total um, cost problems that are going to be worked in the notes that are, you're going to get in this module, but we're going to move on and do our commission next. Um, commission, if you work in a sales job, you know that to earn commission, you have whatever your sales are, your amount for your sales, times whatever commission rate you get paid, 5%, 10%, whatever it is. So we're going to work one of those problems. Here it is, and I'm going to go write it on the board, and we're going to do this one. So I'm going to erase this real quick. So um, if you are a real estate agent and you're going to sell a house, the amount of the house is $325,000. This is the price of the house.
okay? And we're gonna multiply that by the sales tax rate. So if it's 1.5%, you get 1.5% commission. That would mean you drop the percent sign, move two places to the left. So what you're multiplying by is decimal point 0 0.015. This is your commission rate. And remember, this is as a decimal, okay? And then you would do your multiplication. So when we do our multiplication, we get 5 times 0, that would be 0, and 0, and 0, and 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 makes 12. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 makes 16. Okay, I'm done with those. Move to the next one, remember to put your placeholder. And then we do one times our zeros, one, two, three zeros. And then one times five is five. One times two is two. One times three is three. Now we don't need to use this zero in the front, okay? We can just add now, bring all our zeros down. That's five, seven, that's eight, that's four. All right, this time, how many decimal places do I have? Three. Okay, so from the back, I'm going to move my decimal from right to left. One and two and three places. So this is how much you would get in commission. This is your total commission. So if you're going to sell a house, selling one that big is going to be profitable because you'll make $4,800 on, or almost $4,900 dollars off of that one house. Okay, so the next kind of problem we're going to talk about is discount with sale price because everybody knows that's what we're all looking for, right, is a discount and then the sale price. What am I going to have to pay? So this is just an example of um, your designer dress being on sale and it works through that problem for you, but we're going to actually work one out ourselves. So. Here is the suit, and I'm going to erase this so that we can work this problem out. Now, so we have a suit. It's priced at $320. So we have the original price is $320. Okay, and it says it's on sale for 25% off. So sale discount is 20% off. Okay, so I want to know two things. One, I want to know how much is the discount. And two, I want to know what is the sale price. So in order to do that, we have two things we have to do. First, we have to multiply. Just like we did in the first one when we did sales tax, the only difference is now, because it's going to be a discount, instead of adding it, we're going to subtract it at the end. So we have $320 multiplied by decimal point two zero because remember, we drop the percent sign and move our decimal two places to the left, and then we do our multiplication. That's just zero, right? So basically we I just don't need those zeros. I can stick them at the end because that's my shortcut. And then two times two makes four. Two times three makes six. I have two decimal places. So I move my decimal one and two places over here. So that is my discount. So my discount is $64. That's a really, that's a pretty good deal. So now to find the sale price, we're going to take $320, which is your original price, and we're going to subtract the discount this time, okay? So remember to borrow and make that your 10, which would give you 6. That changes that 2 down to an 11. 11 minus 6 is 5, and that made that 3 into a 2, so that would be 2. So the sale price for this particular suit would be $256. So when you are doing discount sale price, 
instead of adding when you do your multiplication, you're going to subtract. Because if it's on sale, obviously it can't cost more than what you spent. And there is the problem worked out. So that you can take that. There are other problems that are going to be worked out today or on the notes for you to look at. Um, but that is the end of it. And that is your answer. The $256 written in red at the bottom. The $64 written in green is your discount price. Okay, so that was step one was to find the $64. Step two was to find the $256 at the very end. All right. And that is all we have for this lesson. And I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed our modules. And good luck on your self-quizzes.